Hi folks. So since I have a bit of time on my hands, waiting for a train, and I got a good uh, half hour to wait, so I thought we we're gonna speak a bit about uh, self-protection in general. Uh, <clears throat> so really, uh, as a lot of people think, you know, it's all about fighting, and uh, if you know how to fight, then you're gonna be safer. Uh, which, I mean, you know, knowing how to fight will definitely help you. That's one thing for sure. But uh, the thing, the, the, the real fundamentals of self-protection is being able to see it coming. Because no matter how well you're trained, no matter how well you can fight or how well you think you can fight, uh, if you don't see it coming, uh, the chances are that you're going to lose, okay? and you have to think what what is your motivation like if you just want to learn to fight for yourself or have you got a motivation behind it uh, do you fight for your family do you fight for your loved ones uh, do you want to be able to defend them in case something really bad happened uh, like a like a bad situation so how do you prepare uh, as, as a person how, how do you call yourself a, a human being you know a, a man somebody that's prepared uh, to do anything in order to stay alive and in order to protect your family so <clears throat> how would you start where would you start I say you would start with developing good situational awareness being aware of your environment have good observational skills uh, and not falling in the realm of paranoia, you know, like don't be paranoid. Uh, uh, my definition of being paranoid is living in fear, you know, uh, living in constant, th with the constant thought that something bad might happen to you and, uh, and, and you know, and you're going to be living in a, in a state of constant fear of uh, looking if I'm looking around it's just because I like to be aware of what's happening around me and I like to make use of all my senses so if I hear something uh, it's an auditory cue and I got to pick up on it so if I hear something on my right I'm gonna have to look on my right if I hear something on my left I'm gonna have to look on my left without being uh, paranoid so it's really like uh, Colonel Jeff Cooper says you know uh, with his color code is code yellow uh, code yellow which is a totally relaxed and calm state of alertness and awareness where you are just calmly scanning your environment for uh, for you know potential threat unusual behavior anything you know any source of agitation anything that will give you uh, a pre-threat indicator of some type you know any cue that, that you could pick up on uh, at an early stage uh, before uh, the situation escalates into something worse basically so trusting your your senses and um, always be on the look always scan your environment make sure that everything is all right make sure that everything is safe and um, that would be it for the situational awareness and I'd say that it's a good idea as well to brief your family brief your kids uh, from an early age about what's acceptable what's not acceptable you know like they should know that they shouldn't uh, speak to strangers they should know that they shouldn't accept anything from strangers uh, and they should know that they shouldn't take direction uh, from strangers so things like that you know um, make sure that your family uh, are, is briefed make sure that your kids are briefed especially if you're going abroad uh, make sure that everybody is briefed to have some type of game plan uh, you, you should have some type of game plan it's a very good idea to 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 have some type of game plan so in terms of game plan in uh in self-protection I'd speak about the basic game plan and the combative game plan uh, the basic game plan would be awareness you know try to see it first if you can't see it first try to avoid if you can't avoid try to escape and if you can't escape then you have to fight 
and if you have to fight it has to be uh, you know it has to be in the instant you can't hesitate because in this type of situation if you cannot uh, avoid or escape or de-escalate the situation then you have to fight and if you do it a second too late then you might you know you might get you might be in trouble and, and if your family is with you uh, they might be in big trouble as well so remember what's your motivation what are you fighting for what are you training for and what what does all this mean to you and uh, you know like someone that I respect very much says uh, you need to ask yourself what do you live for you need to ask yourself what what you're ready to fight for what you're ready to die for and also what you're ready to kill for so these are like four very important questions so for most of us it's our loved ones our family our kids our wife uh, our husbands uh, all this how to make sure that they are safe and that they stay safe so things that you need to think of that's not my train yet things that you need to think of all the time so as I said it's not always about fighting it's about observing and if you got good good level of observation then you have a better chance of survival because you will see things before they happen remember that criminals criminals are very good observers okay that's what they do for a living uh, criminals do observe they will observe you before they strike it's like uh, in nature you can find this phenomena in nature too lions do observe first by the way in nature it's usually lioness that hunt and not lion because lions are lazy cunt <laughs> but regardless even in nature lioness are observing before they strike they choose their prey they're gonna choose the easier prey because they don't want to get tired they want an easy easy money you know easy prey easy gratification basically so if you think like that like a predator then you know how to behave and how not to behave you know the good habits that you can take and the, and the bad habits that you should you know eliminate like avoid making yourself uh, an attractive prey you don't want to make yourself an attractive prey because if you look yummy you're gonna get munched that's that's how it is so you know dress down be discreet don't display your jewelry don't carry big amount of money unless you really need it you know if it's rent day or something like that and you gotta meet the landlord or the landlady and you gotta you gotta pay the rent then you know have it somewhere on your persona but don't keep it uh, together with the rest of your money so it's always a good idea to have money uh, in different places so you could have uh, money in your left pocket like maybe like uh, 20 quid worth you know in uh, in two tens or you could have maybe like 60 quid in your right pocket in tens and uh, you know the big wad of money if you really need it if you need to pay your rent or if you need to pay a big amount of money in cash then you know try not to go out try not to be stupid try not to display your cash you know it's like you don't get a big wad of uh, 50s and 20s and 10 just to pay a fiver for your pint at the pub <laughs> it's just stupid because you know people have eyes and uh, you might make yourself an attractive prey so as well do not commit to people you don't know don't speak about yourself do not give any information that could uh, that could put you in danger you know don't you don't need to give uh, personal information about uh, yourself to people that you don't know even people that look friendly uh, could be people that have other agenda and usually they do you know so uh, I'm not trying to tell you to live in fear again it's not what it is it's just develop good habits you know of being uh, being vigilant basically and always be careful about the uh, the sudden uh, emergency you know 
it could be uh, somebody needs your help all of a sudden and there is a rush about it uh, you need to be careful with that for example if you're driving and you got uh, somebody waving in the mid somebody standing in the middle of the road waving and you 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 know you slow down and you see uh, somebody else is lying on the floor unconscious or supposedly unconscious and you don't know you know so you would just lower your lower your window just a bit just enough to speak with a person and not necessarily not necessarily the whole window which would give the opportunity to the person to grab you and pull you out of your car or, or punch you or do whatever they want to do if they have decided to do something bad to you so like i said do not give any opportunity for criminals um most of the places i mean the usual place where criminals are most most likely to approach you is next to your car or next to your house so as i said criminals do observe uh, if they want to do something bad to you they're going to observe first they want to know where you're living they want to know what you drive they want to know what your habits are and this is where you want to make yourself unpredictable uh, you you want to variate the places you go the time you go at these places and you want to variate even the vehicle that you drive uh, you want to change things as much and as often as possible in order to make yourself unpredictable because if you are predictable and somebody wants to do something bad to you they're going to get you where they know that you're going to be because you've been there for the last week at the same time at the same place so avoid this sort of thing make yourself unpredictable and be discreet try to blend in if you go and travel abroad try to dress the same like everybody else don't wear bright colors um, you know gray and uh, never never lighter than the floor if you want to blend in really wear things that are comfortable that you can run in so no tight jeans and things like that don't wear flip-flops these are not things they are comfortable but in summer these are not something that you can run in and if you step on a piece of glass then you're pretty you're pretty fucked so make sure you wear a nice pair of shoes that you can run in and that that you can you know that you can kick with if you if need be you know so it's nice to have a type of a uh, pair of shoe that you can uh, run fast in and that you can kick somebody and hurt somebody with so even if it's summer make sure that you have that make sure that you have a phone that is charged that you have enough credit in order to make a phone call make sure that you have a, a spare charger somewhere make sure that you have uh, enough coins in your pocket in order to go to uh, to to a phone booth in order to make a phone call just in case make sure that you got 20 quid or 20 dollars uh, in order to pay for a taxi should you have to should your car break down or anything should happen so make sure to think about all these little things same thing with uh, the kits you know if we go back to um, to uh, John Lofty Wiseman uh, the vital pyramid which is something that I've been taught by uh, Lee Morrison um, everything is mindset everything is backed up with mindset and then on the top of mindset you got principles and you got basically tactics based on based on principle principle and concept based tactics uh, on the top of the mindset powered by the mindset and then on the top of that you have skills so teach yourself the right skills and it's not only about fighting it's about a lot of things and then on the top of that have the right kit and that's what I'm saying to you have a phone have some good shoes have a, a warm coat something that could uh, slow a slash down if somebody decide to swing a blade at you have something on your persona that you can improvise as a weapon quickly that's not regarded as a weapon by design especially if you're in a country like mine where uh, it's illegal to carry a weapon by design well have something on your persona that you can quickly improvise as a weapon but that's not regarded as one like uh, you know like something very simple like a pen okay it's not illegal to have it 
you can have it in your pocket and train to access it train to access it efficiently and quickly if you ever need to i'm not saying that you will need to probably that you will live you will live your whole life without needing to to require to this type of thing but it's good to train it because you never know the truth is you never know so especially if you travel abroad check the law of the country where you're going in if it is legal to carry an, uh, a weapon then i suggest that you do it's a good idea to that you do if it's legal if it's not legal then again have the right mentality and have something some top, some type of instrument that you can improvise as a weapon very quickly so that that's all goes it all boils down to the mindset and a way of thinking you know if you need to think like a soldier even if you're not a soldier even if you're like a, a, a nice person like myself uh, all you want to do is go about your business and live your life and you know love your woman love your kids be a good husband be a good father and uh, and all this but the truth is that you never know when some some criminal is gonna decide to make your life a living hell you don't know that we can't say that everybody that's been victim of uh, of of crime uh we can't say that they all deserve it and that they all expected it there is one thing in the streets that criminals know and that we don't know they know what they know why they know when and they know how we don't we don't know why they want to attack us we don't know when they're gonna attack us and where they're gonna attack us and we don't know how they're gonna attack us but they have a game plan they have done it many many times and they are ready to do it again because they either want your body your property or your life so it's quite simple really you know stay alert people stay alert and live your life and be happy all right peace